In this video, I'm going to explain how we can sometimes unintentionally use our sympathetic nervous system, which is our fight or flight, to turn on our parasympathetic ner nervous system, which is our rest and digest, and ultimately why breathing calms us down. A couple of weeks ago, I listened to an old TED talk by Max Strom called Breathe to Heal. I'll put a card to it up here so you can watch it too. It's a pretty awesome talk. In this talk, what stood out to me most was his discussion about anxiety. What he was essentially saying is that when we repress our emotions, and he was specifically talking about grief, it shows up as anxiety. Now this was a major aha moment for me, that anxiety is a way we hold our emotional life at bay. When we breathe, we can feel. And it's just saying that we're kind of terrified of feelings. My name is Melissa. I teach breathing and yoga, mostly restorative styles of yoga, like yin yoga, sleep yoga, and restorative yoga on my main channel. I'm super lucky that the foundations of my yoga study included a lot of teaching on breathing. This month, I'm answering your questions about breathing here. On, and on my main channel, I have short, very simple 10, min, 10 minute breathing exercises once a week. So I'd love to have you as a subscriber here and also on my main channel as well. So why does breathing calm us down? Well, let's start with what happens when it doesn't. So when we are stressed or when I'm stressed and anxious, what I do is I try to take a deeper breath. My friend Laura G has a podcast called Yoga Focus on removing restrictions to find essential breath and I'll put a card to it up here. This actually tends to be a willful upward pulling energy that creates tension in the neck and shoulders. Even though we're trying to draw in more breath to relax, it's a kind of compensatory breath pattern that ends up forcing and manipulating the breath into the top of our chest rather than a downward pull of breath into our bellies. So this kind of breathing actually reduces the carbon dioxide in the blood, including the cartoid artery going to the brain, which further reduces the blood through the body. So no matter how much oxygen we breathe into our lungs that way, our body is going to experience a shortage of oxygen. And this lack of oxygen switches us into the fight or flight reflex, making us tense and anxious and irritable. It reduces our ability to think clearly and it turns us towards that kind of obsessive thinking. Now it is possible to, to turn on the parasympathetic nervous system, helping us to calm down through our breath as well. And we can do this by accessing certain cranial nerves, such as the vagus nerve that comes from the brainstem, and also ones that reside in our lower back region of our spine. So the parasympathetic nerve ganglia do not run down the spine, but they're actually located near the organs they influence. So when we focus on that downward pull of breath with the diaphragm or lower belly breathing, it massages all the lower internal organs and the lower back and it stimulates the ganglia nerve in this area. So before I tell you how stimulating the nerve ganglia in this area calms you down, I just wanna thank you so much for giving this video a thumbs up and putting I am calm in the comments. So that downward pull of breath with a relaxed lower belly that opens up your breath in a natural way creates impulses that come from those ganglia. They reduce your heart rate, they dilate your blood vessels, they increase digestive peristalsis, which means the involuntary constriction and relaxation of muscles in the intestine, which creates this kind of wave-like movement that pushes the contents of the canal forward. It constricts air passages in the lungs and helps the body slow down and restore itself. So thank you so much for your calm breath and thanks so much for watching.